Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have for you the Brilliant Stars Booster Box. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to make this a quick video, not take too long on it. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start opening it now. Um, so I did pick this up, if you didn't know, I picked it up from my local game store or my local card shop, whatever you want to call them. Um, as you can see, it's, the stuff is coming off and usually they say that's what means that it's real. It's not a fake box, but it's everywhere and yeah. So in this comes 36 packs of Brilliant Stars. I'm going to just toss this on the floor kind of get some of that off so it doesn't get on the cards but um i will be using these sleeves that came out of the um the elite trainer box um i don't know someone said that i probably shouldn't use these sleeves um maybe just because it's i feel like sometimes it's personal preference and then other times um some of the sleeves are better, like the ones that you can just regularly buy instead of the ones in the booster box are just better. I don't know. Um, I haven't really seen a whole difference. I just know that it's harder to open the sleeves that come out of the Elite Trainer boxes than it is when you just buy them. Like, just buy these. These are easy to open. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Um, so, I'm just going to try to get a few of these open now before we completely start uh oh knocking over stuff or almost knocking over stuff so yes but i did receive it well not received it but i went and bought it um from my local card shop um i want to say the day the day that they actually let I'm trying to see how to word it. The day that they actually let you buy it from the store. So I want to say it was a Wednesday. So two days before release day for Brilliant Stars is when I got it. So um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. I'm counting 35, but I feel like I could have miscounted somewhere. So I'm just going to take these out. Yep, there we go. 36, back here. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm going to put them back how they were. And then I'm just going to open them. Like, I don't think I'm going to do a card trick. I don't think I am. And I'm going to just kind of lay everything out. So again, I'm going to try to make this as quick of a video as possible. It is 8.38 at night. So I'm going to try to have this done by 9.30 <laughs> at least. But I don't expect it to be an hour. And if it is, I'll just cut it and everything. So again... I don't plan on having you guys sit here for a long, long time watching me open these. So, Reverse Hollow Magma Basin and a Holographic Garchomp. So, that's good. I don't know. Maybe I should do it that way. Okay. So, then we have Energies and the wrists of everything we got two magma basins actually so we got the hollow and the regular version and i'm gonna put that there i have a hard time if you're new to the channel i have a hard time figuring out where i want to sit things and how i want to order sometimes and i just try to keep everything together like if i'm opening different sets i want different sets all to get together and yeah it can become a little stressful so Let's see a shroomish and then an ice skew non holographic. So there we go. Rest of the pack, cold card. Um, what I am wanting out of these packs definitely any of the Ombreon character cards or um, V or V Max for sure. I mean, you know, a Charizard would be nice if I was to get it. I haven't seen anybody pull one yet. Wait, no. 
I did. I saw one person pull a Charizard, but that's it. I have a holographic Haxorus, which is a rare, and then a non-holographic Manaphy. So this rest of our pack, code card for you. Um, I think that's really it as of now that I can think of think of off the top of my head. Um any of the the full art trainers would be nice as well. Any character rare would also be nice at this point. So we have a pot helmet and a grim snarl non-holographic. So there we go. Code card. So nothing in these first packs really. Besides the one hollow and then the one reverse hollow rare. So, oh. okay, cast form, throw, shroomish, piplup. I don't know why I like stumbled over his name right then. Uh, Turt twig, reverse hollow, team yells, cheer. In a Wormadam non holographic and a V Star card. So I really don't know what to do with those. I think I'm just going to keep a few and um, just sit them in the binder. I'm not going to keep every last one that I get, of course, but because I'm not going to use them. So maybe somebody else can find use of them or I can trade them in for bulk. So we'll see. Um, will not trade them in for bulk, but bulk them out. You guys know what I'm talking about. Here is a reverse hollow claim and then a non holographic heat train. So, whoops, wrong. So, I did have, um, oh my gosh, Professor Lauren, and he's in my comment section almost all the time. You guys can see him, or if you go into other videos or go back into other videos, you will see him commenting. Um, saying that his booster box was not the best. So, and he wished me luck on mine. So we're gonna see because as of right now, I can't even tell you how many packs we're in and we literally haven't gotten anything except holographics. So here's a holographic Lucario, which if you guys um, didn't see my opening of the, um, what do you call it? The build a battle kit that was the, build and battle character that I got. I don't know how to say that exactly. But out of the four uh, Pokemon that you can get with the stamps on it, that's the one that I got. So it's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, we have a Shinx, an Impidimp, Galette, uh -oh. Cast Form, Reverse Hollow Motham, which is a rare, and then a Agron VMAX. So finally, we got something. So we got a VMAX Agron, which I've actually seen a lot of people actually pull this card. So I literally opened these. See, and that's what I'm saying. Like I opened them and then like they just kind of close. So I don't know. Maybe that's why people say don't use them. I don't know. So um, I don't even know where to like put it. I'll just sit it there, I guess, and be very... Okay, yep, see, we're, we're gonna sit it right there. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that's why they say that and maybe it damages the cards or you can damage it trying to shove them in there. And that's why I'm kind of very light touching with them. So I don't do that. I have a Grimer, a Clefairy, a Bidoof, Reverse Hollow Provo Pass, and then a Grand Bull V. So two hits back to back, so Hopefully, they all don't just come in the rest of these packs right here, honestly, because then we won't have anything on the right side, but I don't think I see that happening. I'm going to pick up my Grand Bull. And both of these cards are new to me. I don't have either of these, so I know that I'm going to need them for sure for the binder, so that's great. It's awesome. The only thing that I can say is possibly even... A repeat is, of course, the commons and then also the Lucario, but it just doesn't have the stamp. So, yeah, that's about it. Oh, I see a character rare right there. Okay, and Oranguru, I, I don't know why I just said it like that. Oranguru is, I think that's how you say it. So, 
that's how I normally pronounce it. I don't think I have this, but I have seen people pull it. So that's great. And then we have a fly gone as our rare. There's a code. It's a energy. Okay. So I mean, I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think I pulled this last time. I think the last time I pulled a Zekron character rare. And I think that was the only character rare that I pulled, I believe. I have the stack right here, but I just don't want to look at it and waste time. Because, again, I'm trying not to have you guys sit here all day. And we just hit the 10 minute, 30 second mark. So, you know, it might be a 20 minute video which I've done on the channel before, so hopefully it's not too bad. Um, we have a Shinx Reverse Hollow Care Blast and a Remedam Non-Holographic. Code. Okay, almost done with the left side. I don't think I've ever opened 36 packs at one time before. I think the last time I had a booster box, I broke it up into two videos. I did the left side one time and the right side another. Uh, we have a reverse hollow Monferno and then a holographic Moltres. So that's awesome. I don't have that card. I know for a fact. Oh, I would like to pull some of the Galarian birds or whatever they are in this set. Are they still the Galarian birds or whatever they are? I want them because they all look pretty and I've never pulled one, not even in past sets. So that would be nice to pull. Okay, we have a Golet, Chameco, Chimchar, Mencino, Baltoy. Reverse Hollow Golurk, which is a rare, and then a non holographic Tornadus. Okay. Right, you guys. Looks like we have about five more on this side, including this one. Yeah. Five more packs. Jeez. Okay. Have a Pertwig, Mencino. Carablast, Weasel, Halucha, Reverse Hollow Tropius, which isn't a rare, but it used to be, and past sets. Oh, and the Escavalier non holographic, and another V Star card. So, what that makes two out of this, this side already, two V Star energies. Tell me what you guys would do with the V-Star energies um, if you don't play um, the Pokemon TCG game, like in person, like go to like tournaments and things. What would you do with them? Would you just bulk them out or would you give them away? What would you do? We have a Reverse Hollow Star, Rap Star Raptor, which is a rare, and then a non-holographic Haxorus. So we got both of those in this opening. Need both of those for the binder, of course. Trap Pinch, Executor, Starly, Shroomish, whoops, Piplup, Reverse Hollow Clay Doll, which is a rare. So we're doing really good with reverse rares. And we have a Zerud B. So that's good. Also, don't have that one. So adding it to the binder. Sorry. <laughs> Very happy about my pools so far as we've gotten. What two V's, a V Max, and a character rare all from this left side? Sorry, I'm trying to to get it in there, and I just noticed how close my hand was to the camera. So there we go. What two more packs on the left side? So these might be dud packs, and then the rest of our hits will be on the right side. I hope. Okay, Riolu, Starly, Milsery, Reverse Hollow Manaphy, which is a rare, and then a Clink Clang, non-holographic. So, there we go. Okay. A 
last pack from this side and it actually feels very thick like there's more cards in here than it should be okay we got a gloria trainer full art trainer awesome definitely don't have that and a holographic torterra which we don't have neither so awesome pack there love it so i'm definitely going to put gloria in the sleeves here you go miss gloria i think in the last opening i pulled the um sharon's care so there we go yeah so this one i don't have either so awesome so on the left side we have pulled like these five right here which is great so let's see how many we'll pull on the right side we already pulled what four pulls in a character rare on the left so let's see what we can get on the right So I can see this video literally being 30 minutes is what it seems like it's going to be because we're already at 16 minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> I have a reverse hollow far-fetched and a Motham non-holographic. So you can see. Again, I'm going as fast as I can without just literally rushing through the video. Um, wow. Okay. So actually you know give content and then not just be oh eight minutes she went through a whole 36 pack in eight minutes i can't do that my hands don't move fast enough i don't think and i think i talk more than other than some other youtubers small youtubers <laughs> we have a reverse hollow tornadus which is a rare and then a ramadam non-holographic so yeah, but I appreciate you all for watching, especially if you made it this far. I'm sure a lot of you have. I hope that you're actually watching the video and not just scrubbing through it just to get codes or just to see what I'm pulling. Um, so, but either way, I appreciate you clicking on the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, please do. Whoa, I skipped it. I skipped it. We have an auxiliary character rare. Look at that. Very pretty. Love it. And then a Star Raptor non-holographic. Um, you know, I hope that if you're new here that you do subscribe to the channel. It helps me out. And then, you know, also everyone, whether you're subscribed or not, please like the video. It also helps the channel out as well. And also lets me know that you do enjoy my content. And it actually keeps pushing me to make more content for you guys, honestly. Um... If I don't see you guys watching or if I don't see, you know, people liking the video, well, really, it's not even liking it. It's really just watching. If I don't get any views, then I'm like, hmm, I don't know if I want to keep making content. Maybe I just need to open them to myself. And I know I'm not the only person that feels that way, but you guys know this. I talk about this all the time. It's just one of those things, you know, when you're a YouTube, a small YouTuber and, you know, things like that happen, so... Anywho, Reverse Hollow Grimer in a Mimikyu VMAX. Beautiful card. I actually do like Mimikyu. Um, I recently told someone that I was really getting into dark Pokemon. And Mimikyu, I believe, used to be a dark Pokemon before they changed it, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I want to say it was maybe dark and psychic. It wasn't just always psychic. But I could be wrong. Again, if I could find an old one, I would definitely put that in the video. But I'm not going to be able to find one right now. I know that. Not on this table. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. We have a Bidoof, an Electabuzz, Chameco, Gibble, Turtwig. Reverse Hollow Ball Toy, and then a Holographic Professor's Research. So, the rest of our cards there. Again, if you see my hands going like in front of here, I have my code cards over here, 
I have the energy cards right here. And then I have the stack of commons and uncommons and everything else over here that's just piling up and I'm hoping that I don't knock it over. At this point, um, I have a Chameco, Chimchar, Mencino, Reverse Hollow, Marnie's Pride, and a Mimic UV. Okay, so we have a Mimic UV to go along with our Mimic UV Max, which is great. Another V Star. Awesome. So that made three so far in this whole opening that I have gotten. Okay, so we, we really hit it off with the Mimic U. So I really do want, though. Honestly, an Ombreon. If I can get an Ombreon, whatever, I will probably be very happy. I'm not going to say whatever because I really want like the V or the V Max or Character Rare or whatever it is that they have in here. I just want those. That's what I want. I don't want the, if there is just a regular hollow, that's not what I'm looking for. I want the big cards. <laughs> we have a Duskull, a Farfetch'd, Exec. Execute, execute. Oh my gosh! Wow. Grimer, <laughs> Sneasel, Reverse Hollow Muck, which is a rare, which I know I don't have, and then a Mac Mortar, which I don't have at all, non-holographic. So that's cool. I'm not gonna be picky though, you guys. I'm not being picky. I'm just saying that is like my biggest chase card. Anytime there's an Ombreon somewhere, that's what I want. Like, don't get me wrong. All evolutions are extremely adorable, but I really love a good Ombreon. Okay. That's just me personally. That's just what I like. We have Reverse Hollow Al Creamy, which is a rare and then a non-holographic life card. Okay. We're almost done. Maybe about a good 10 to 12 packs left. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay, we have a nose pass, a snow runt, clink, the dene, cup chew, reverse hollow milsery to go with our al creamy. And an al creamy. So basically we um evolved it pretty much. <laughs> Yep. Ooh, I'm gonna have so many cards to go through. If you guys, if you've never been to my Instagram channel, well, not channel, but my Instagram page for this channel, it's life underscore of underscore Nisha, N E I S H A, which it used to be the name of the channel. Um, if you go on there, there is a picture of my table and its contents, but not recently, but what it used to look like before now. It's a little more organized now, though. <laughs> I have a Burmy Reverse Hollow Wormadam, which is a rare, and then Holographic Empoleon. Oh, that I almost tossed to the floor. Okay. So, yes, um... I don't know, one day, maybe I'll do a Q&A. What do you guys think about that? You guys think you would be interested in a Q&A? Just to get to know me, and I just show my face, and just answer you guys' questions, or is that not something that you would be interested in? Let me know in the comment section down below. We have a Reverse Hollow Sneasel, which I don't have, and then a Muck, non-holographic. Okay, the rest of our cards and the code. I've seen that a lot of these codes start with the N. Did anybody else notice that? Is it just me? Now, I don't know why, but I don't know. We have a pin piplup. I don't know why I'm saying pin plup like it's a print plup, but yeah. Turtwig, Sneasel, Clink, Spiritune, Reverse Hollow Bosses Orders. And then a Clefable, non-holographic. So, honestly, let's see. We have technically three, six, seven, eight hits out of this box. Hoping for one, two, three, four, five. So this is six. Six more packs left. So at least hoping for at least, at least two to three more like a rainbow somewhere another character rare maybe another v or v max you know is that asking for too much 
reverse hollow dust snore, which is a rare, and then a non holographic dredgagon. Okay, maybe that is asking for too much. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I should at least get 10 hits. Like, you can at least top me off a of 10. Give me in a double digit. Ah! Okay, we have a Gibble. Trap Pinch, this stack is big, y'all. Cast Form, Throw, Shroomish, Reverse Hollow Golets, and then a Dramp of B. Okay, so there's nine. So just hoping that I do get to 10. That's, that's all I'm hoping for is that I do get to 10. If I get to 10, I'll be happy and I won't complain, but I don't know. I feel like because there are character rares, it's why they've kind of, not really kind of changed things, but it seems like it does change things because there's a possibility that you get two hits in one. So instead of getting, you know, just nine regular hits of V's and V maxes in a rainbow, oh, you can get these character rares. So, you know, why do you need any of the other things? But I'm really looking at this point, I'm looking for a rainbow something. I don't care what it is, something with some rainbow in it. Let me get some rainbow Pokemon. A reverse hollow trap inch and then a go lurk non holographic. Now that is going to make me upset though if I don't get at least a rainbow out of here. Okay, we have three more packs. So. My stacks are everywhere. I think this is why I don't open this many packs at one time. Okay, have a Clefairy, a Bidoof, Electabuzz, Halucha, uh oh, I rebuild it, a Buizel, an Eevee um, character, which I do already have actually, in a Dusnar holographic. So, I mean, technically I did get 10, so. I won't complain too much, but I'm gonna still complain just a little bit because still looking for this um, this rainbow. Like I want a rainbow. Like yes, the cards I got are good, and I've only gotten one actual, just got one actual duplicate. But come on, you guys, Magmar, Star You, Reverse Hollow Dusclops, and a non holographic Breloom. Another V stars that made four, I believe, out of this opening. Okay, last pack. Last pack magic, you guys. Or at least hoping for some last pack magic. I think I think I'm gonna actually do the card trick on this one. Let's see. Okay, Water Energy, Gloria, Staravia, Berry, Cupchu, Shinx, Farfetched, exec Execute, I don't know why I keep trying to say Executor, <laughs> Grimer, Reverse Hollow Axew, and a Non Holographic Ice Skew. Wow. I know I said I wasn't going to complain, y'all, but I'm complaining a little bit. I wish that I would have got a rainbow rare, at least a rainbow out of here. Like, they could have kept my EV, honestly, and gave me a rainbow. Because I do have, this is the first, I want to say the first character rare. It's the first character rare that I pulled out of this set, but I want to say it's the first hit I ever pulled out of this set also. But I digress, I digress, I guess. So, right at 30 minutes that we're about to get to you because we're at 29.15. We have a Gloria, Zerud V, let me move that out the way, um, Oranguru, Granbull V, Agron V Max, Eevee, Character Rare, jeez, a Grandpa, Grandpa, a Drampa V, watch a real breaking eight, y'all, Mimikyu V, Mimikyu V Max, and an Octillery character rare so we came out with three character rares what six v and v maxes total and then 
a full art trainer over here so not too bad I can't complain too much again I just wish that you know I did at least get a um, rainbow rare or at least at least an Aubreyon honestly but I'll just keep looking I have more um, what's the word I'm looking for I have more product that I will be opening so you guys of course will get a video next week I'm um, sorry that this video is late because it is a week late but I've been so tired and swamped you guys with working my jobs and then starting to work out and trying to get myself in better shape so yeah I know excuses but also not excuses because I really do be tired and this is real life so I like to show you guys real life here can't fake it can't fake it you know so thank you all so much for watching I do hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it um please do comment down below what you guys would like to see on the channel and you know let me know if you guys have been able to find brilliant brilliant stars still um, which you guys have picked up um, if you want to see my my new pickups my most recent pickups Please do go check out my Instagram at life underscore of underscore Nisha I will always post my recent pickups there even if I don't show them on the channel you will always find them there um, Thank you again for watching and see you guys in the next video